it's a Saturday morning. It's nighttime though. It's still dark. It's about six something. This is about 6.15, 6.20. I haven't been out in a couple of days. So I figure I'd get this out of the way and make a couple of short. Make a couple of short videos, maybe two or three today while I'm out here. Yeah, it's been a um, fast week. Last week when I talked to you guys, it was like, well, it was, it was Friday morning. And I had clicked my boy in New York's uh, telephone by accident. And you know what I forgot to do today, yo? I forgot to put on my, uh, my, um, My rag on my head. It doesn't matter anyway. <clears throat> I ain't never did that. That I can't remember. Guess I had a hoodie. It's nothing. I'll be out here for about an hour. No, nah, longer than that. Hour, hour and a half. Yeah, I don't have my rag on my head. I don't like that when the sun comes out. You gotta cover your head. Yeah, I gotta cover my head. What am I fuck am I thinking about? Yeah, gotta cover my head up. But once the sun come out, it's going to tear my ass up. You don't really see people out here in the desert. You can see the sun coming up, look on the across, across the field. See, if I had a, one of my high-powered cams, I could zoom in over there. And there's a mountain right there. You may be able to see it. Damn it. Ain't no big deal. I just act like this little extra distance. I won't even count it. But I do need um, there's a little lone star up there in the sky. Yeah, but I do need, um, where's the moon at? It's going by, it's a new moon. It's a new moon. Cause it was a half a moon last week. Yeah, I gotta go up there and get my, uh, I had it in my hand too. And that's one of the last things that I do. Let's put the, uh, Look at that, that's beautiful, man. It's like orange. Wow. You can see that star real good. See with a good camera? That would be beautiful, see? Sunrise just before sunrise. I'm gonna take these pictures once I get past this uh, pole and his light post. Light pole. Let's see. Now I'll save it.
Yeah, my hat is getting cold. Let's look at see up here. The light is like outside my door. Okay, on the deck, as you can see. You see when I'm walking in. The lights outside my door and the lights up the whole deck. And then you got these corner safety lights, like big, big flood lights. Yeah, I think somebody got some Christmas lights over there going on. Where's my bag at? I had that line in my hand. And it goes on the pillow, I think. Now, let's see. What that bullshit is. I don't know what that bullshit is. That's in front of the house on the sidewalk. That's probably that crazy motherfucker downstairs. But whatever that is, it looks fresh. He probably came out, put some shit on the side. Well, I was hoping they ain't paint. That guy is always doing something destructive around. Um, it's petty, but he's always doing something destructive around the building. What an idiot. Now, my shit's getting all, cord is all twisted up. We pull this out and straighten it. Yeah, yeah, I am looking like I'm trying to catch up to what I left off at. I ain't trying to do that. It's still a dark look. 
Yeah, but I ain't going to try and do that. But my pace is a little bit higher because I'm warmed up. Yeah, I could tell. Where I got, I got up to like the end of this wall before I realized that I didn't have a hat on. I mean, a head covering. Because usually I'd be warmer than that by then. I'd be uh, heating up. I would be able to feel the heat by the time I get to the end of this wall. It's like a habit now. Yes, I would feel the heat by the time I'm getting down here. And I would feel the, uh, my uh, scalp. My scalp would start to drip like it is now. Because do, a do rag or a scarf or stocking cap or something like that. It's like how stockings keep a lady's legs warm, a woman's legs warm. Same principle. And then when I got up here, I said to myself, I'm not dripping yet. Yeah, I got up this far. I said, damn, I'm not dripping yet. You gotta be dripping by then. You go ahead. Come on. You know, out here, they got all this good Samaritan shit with the cars and that pulls up the corners and stuff. It's like, <clears throat> they really, because um, I'm guessing that, you know, bad, thing ha bad things has happened when uh, people walk out in front of cars or they don't stop and let you go through. Like they don't like stop and let you pass over like the guy or girl, I don't know who it was, whatever. But there was a girl or a guy, whatever. I told him to go ahead. I'm just guessing that people were having fucking problems. It's like I'm all the way over here and whoever it was waiting over there across the street, like right here, for me to come walk in front. <clears throat> I can't see inside that car. That car was tinted out. I can't see inside the car. And um, there's been plenty of times I have stood right at a corner and the people is waiting to make the right hand turn and I'm coming from their right, but they're looking to the left clocking the cars that's going across the front of them and then as soon as they see <clears throat> an opening or enough time to make that right turn I'll just stand right there on the corner about one big step back and they never ever looked my way before they made it right because it's turning on the right out here They never ever looked my way. They pull up to the corner. Never ever looked my way. They're just looking one way, like to the left. You understand? <clears throat> Sad because it's on a two way street. Like this right here. They driving up behind me. You right? Like now, well, you can't see shit too tough, but 
you can see the line and you can see down the road they're driving up behind me right so they could see me so even if i was not to uh look like over my shoulder to see who's trying to make this right hand turn down here <clears throat> they still could see me <clears throat> but i'm usually on point 99.9 percent .9 of the time but there has been a couple of times when i looked over and some people are like they get comfortable out here. They say, I, ain't give, I don't give a fuck. If I get hit, I'm getting paid. <laughs> so, you may have three cars, four cars, trying to make the right hand turn there. Because, and then some people will clock you. They'll time you. It's like I'm walking out here by myself, right? So you see, you got a car behind me. Like this, right? On the road. And they want to make this turn up here at the corner where that light is. <clears throat> they see me. Or so if it's like four cars. So this whole shit is like busy. This whole street busy. Both ways. That side and this side. And I'm approaching this corner. Yeah, and I'm approaching this corner here. Sometimes people will time you. And they'll make this turn like swoop, like just in front of you. <clears throat> if you're not looking, you get hit. So I'll stop and I'll turn like that and look. I'll look over there at the angle and I'll look to my right. Then I'll cross. But sometimes people will try to time you. In their mind, they're saying they're not stopping. <clears throat> they're just going to swoop right in front of you. And you've been to yourself like, oh shit, that motherfucker didn't stop. Like, what if I decided to just, like, run, you know, to get my jaw going right quick? And I, at that moment, I stepped up, you know, stepped out. And then he's going to hit me, or her. And my her is going to run me over. Because <laughs> it's going to be a solid hit, too. Which is fucking crazy, man. People are fucking... New York people don't give a fuck about you on the road. Trust me. People in New York drivers ain't gonna stop. They'll just keep on going. They ain't stopping. Come on. Yeah, New York City drivers just... They'll run you over and keep going. And then they gotta investigate and find out who ran you over. That type of shit. Most of the time, people get away with it. But out here, they respect the pedestrian a lot. Even if you're crossing the street, so if you jaywalk, it's like everybody slows down to like 45 miles an hour. They slow down to like 20. And you'd be like, go ahead, motherfucker. Because you're timing it for you to get across. <laughs> you'd be like, go ahead, man. Go, go. And then sometimes I just mosey along and just turn my back. Like, I don't even know them. It's, I turn my back on them like, can't you see I'm on the phone? I'm not walking out there. And I don't know why you're standing there. So it's going to be a standoff. I have the right of way. That means that I could go if I want to or not, is what that means. It's optional. But the way they teach us in New York from the time you're a child, they say cross at the green, not in between. Because <clears throat> in a busy place like New York, you crossing in between cars, a lot of parked cars, because it's not a lot of room. So you'll probably be doing street parking.
That's what you're gonna do. Street parking. So a lot of times people will just jump out in front of your car, man. When you're going through like a side block. It's just rows of cars on both sides of the block. With enough space for one car to go down the block one way. Especially in the summertime, kids be playing, you know, on the sidewalk and the ball goes out in the street like you see on those commercials. Kid ain't thinking about no car. He's going to chase the ball. And you probably want hitting him in his head because he's going to be bending over while he's chasing that ball. And he's going to get a hit right on his head. He's going to die, more than likely. But he's bending over trying to pick, pick up the ball. So you see the ball squirt out, put your brakes on. And then sometimes it'll just go across. You see the kid right there, like, you know, on point. He record himself. And then sometimes those children get ran over. These chicks be walking around out there with their kids in strollers like they own the joint. Well, you could do that out here because the people respect that. The people that expect you to do that out here. They don't expect you in New York to do that. And they don't care in New York City if you push your stroller out there. So, why would you put, do that to your child? Because they're gonna hit the child first. And by the time you react, you know, the stroller's not gonna even be in your hands. The stroller's gonna be halfway down the block with the kid. And you're gonna be staring in there with nothing in your hand. Probably your phone. <laughs> with your earbuds in, with your phone, and your kid done got dragged 100 yards. You see how it's getting light now? Transition right quick and uh, uh, That's within like 20 minutes, not even 20 minutes. Well, about 20. About 20 minutes. But it takes about. And my pace I'm walking now, well, 15. This pace is 15 minutes, the pace I'm walking. Because I came out of the, uh, when I went back and I came back out, I came back out. Uh, on a steady pace, not a warm-up pace. I always warmed up. Because usually the first one takes like 20, a little less than 20. When I'm up to speed, when I'm up to speed, it takes like 15. So when I say four miles, that's four miles an hour. 15, 15, 15, and 15. That's four miles an hour. Yeah, well, I don't have no babies in the house or in, you know, in my household and none of that. And um, the only kids I worry about is my 13-year-old in Canada. And trust me, she's not worried about me. And this is how it is when you get older. When you get older, The only ones that's going to worry about you is the ones that can benefit. They worry about you. They'll check in on you to see if you're dead yet. And you hear a lot of these old timers talking about, yeah, the only time they come around is when they want something. Or well, every time they come here, they leave my house with a shopping bag. You know, all this kind of stuff. Because 
Let me start this over. Let me start another one. And I'm going to call it old timers. I'm going to get rid of this baby carriage stuff, pushing baby strollers out in the street and this pedestrian right stuff. And I'm going to get into some old timey stuff, OG stuff. Once I get to this corner, because this will be like the first mile, but I already did like a half a mile. Because I had to turn back around. So when I tally up, I got to add on a half a mile from that quarter mile going and quarter mile back. Peace and love, y'all. I'm going to change the topic.